How long has it been since we've seen this setup, my dudes? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Pragmatic Addict here, back with another video. So, uh, so heads up, guys. I'm actually not gonna be using this setup for this video. Um, I'm actually just here explaining some shit real quick. So, uh, for those who didn't actually see uh, my last video, the California vlog for that me, Jacob, and Lane had shot for uh, Lane's 90th birthday, I said in that vlog that um, we had actually seen uh, nobody while we were up in California and. We had shot a review for it, but it's not exactly the best. Uh, we actually shot it in the middle of uh, the car, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the ghetto. Um, because the Airbnb that we were at, we just like, after 10 p.m., it was just like... So we only stayed at that Airbnb for like the first night. Plus there was no fucking TV. So we only stayed at there for like the first night, and then the, the next three, we were actually at an actual hotel that we had found and everything. So um, just letting you guys know, like... The, re the review is a little bit different, so just bear with us, but yes, we uh, did shoot a nobody review up there, and uh, we will be going back to this kind of setup again really soon. Um, as a matter of fact, today, uh, right after this uh, video, I'm actually we're actually all going to go and see uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, and I'll be dropping a review for that later on today whenever you know we're done with that shit. So, yes, just letting you guys know, like, just heads up, this is not going to be how the review looks. Uh, next time, today, Godzilla vs. Kong, but, uh, yes, um, shitty ghetto, uh, late night car review of nobody in California. Enjoy. Hi guys, it's been a while since a review, um, we're actually, uh, in California right now and we're doing a car review because the Airbnb we're staying at for the night uh, has rules Sucks. that that you can't uh, be loud after 10 p.m. So we're like, we're not even gonna fucking risk it, cause wow, we gotta talk about this movie. We're like literally in the middle of the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, so nobody. Yeah, it's with Bob Odenkirk, and basically he plays this uh, auditor, which is. A kind of like an assassin, I think. I don't know too much about this kind of shit. Uh, he basically plays John Wick, except it's Bob Odenkirk playing a family man, and there's a lot of comedy here, and a lot more violence, and the action, and the screenplay. Oh my god, the performances. Everything about this movie was good. That's my review. We're 50 s seconds in. You guys start talking, because I'm like losing my mind here. I liked it better than the first John Wick movie. <laughs> It it's, was more fun. Mm -hmm. It's more fun. It's more gritty. The action looks realistic. It, it's not stylized. It's it's like if John Wick gained weight and got a family. And <laughs> Do, had a family. <laughs> okay, so I thought John Wick was good. I like John Wick. <laughs> like, I thought my take on John Wick is that it was just a very stylish hell of an action movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody... It had everything planned out from the very beginning. <laughs> everything had an answer, and everything had a good fucking answer. And again, the performances, the violence, the humor. Like, th halfway through the movie, I was like, so it's basically John Wick, except it's more violent. And then, like, as a little bit when I was like, no, it's basically, like, making John Wick its bitch. <laughs> but no, this movie was fantastic. I mean,. I'm not a big action fan personally, but you know, when, when action is well done and you know, not the same as every other movie, I really respect it. And this movie, I really fucking respect it because it was hilarious as hell. Like, I think that this is the first movie that I have cheered, like, in the theater for, like, this since, like, Joker. <laughs> like, that says something. This movie was really fucking good. <laughs> Christopher Lloyd and RZA in it are both really phenomenal as well. They have kind of like smaller roles, but literally everything, like this is kind of like one thing I want to talk about. Like with John Wick, it felt like, my only thing about it is that it felt very minimal of a film. But in saying that, like it felt like it didn't try too hard, but everything it did do it pretty much kind of nailed. <laughs> this movie kind of felt like that for the first act and the second and third act, it just like blew the fuck up and like smacked everybody in the fucking face. This movie was so fucking good. And the, again, the screenplay is fantastic too because this isn't that long of a movie. And again, for the first act, I was like, okay, so we're not really getting too much info. We're just kind of like seeing this loser just transform into this fucking like, you know, just 
like monster and it really sets things up like in a way that, that I really wasn't expecting like I liked the movie halfway through like you know I was like well it's good you know it's funny the performances are good it's well written I like the atmosphere I like pretty much everything but I wasn't crazy about it but once you actually you know got to know this dude's character and actually got to hear what the writer and the director were actually saying for this film they really knocked it out like this is probably like my favorite action movie <laughs> i mean i don't know dude maybe maybe in a, in a in a few years it really was fucking fantastic and we're not going to spoil anything cuz we were talking about this uh we we're not going to spoil the ending but we need a John Wick nobody crossover movie. It needs to fucking happen. Is there anything else that you guys want to say about it? Uh, yeah, I agree with you. There needs to be a crossover. <laughs> what, what did you like about the film, man? I like, what, what was your favorite things about it? The casting, mostly. The casting was good, dude. Christopher Lloyd and RZA. Like, just everybody, dude. Even the villains, like... There is so much going on in this movie, too. Like... I think, like, my only criticism is that its first act is really what's going to test you because, the fir like, I'm not going to lie, like, like again, I like the movie, but, like, if I'm watching this song at home, I may have not as gotten, like, as invested, but, you know, in the first act, I was like, okay, I like the movie, it's good, it's good, and then once you get through those first, you know, like, 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 30-some minutes or so, like, it really just takes you, like, like, there's no turning back after that. It's got a, a not necessarily a slow setup, like like a uh, uh, first act, but kind of a misleading one. Like this movie really does take a lot of turns and really does craft itself in a really like fantastic way that I was not expecting, like at all out of this film. And I don't really know like like what I was getting into. And like I always like I wanted to see this movie for months because I was just kind of like okay, you know, again it reminds me of you know kind of like John Wick, but and it's the same producer and everything. But holy hell, this movie was funny as fuck. This movie was violent as fuck. Holy shit. Like, I was like, dude, the, the, the deaths in here, like, how did they come up with this shit? But, yeah, it's, uh, it's like 1225 right now, and, uh, I've, I'm, I'm, I've said what I want to say. Again, if, you, if there's anything that you guys want to add? I'm good. <laughs> I, uh, especially like the end credit scene. Yeah... Yeah, there is a post credit scene. Um, stay and watch the movie. Uh, I, I don't... I just... Again, I'm not an action movie fan, but, like, I can't really see anybody, like, watching this movie and just being bored with it. Like, it's just impossible. It's just not possible. But, overall, I'm gonna give Nobody a 7.8 out of 10. It was really good. I, I didn't think that it was, like, a masterpiece, but... I liked it a hell of a lot better than John Wick, and I like John Wick. And, again, just as an action movie, I think that this might be, like, my favorite in, you know, some time. Like, like quite a while. But, yeah, uh, we're in California right now doing a car review, so we're going to end it because the quality probably sucks. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually, uh, we've actually been filming a California vlog kind of, kind of thing that I'm going to be uh, releasing in the next few days when we actually return home. So, uh, look out for that. It's, uh, it's different. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so, uh, I'll catch up with you guys soon. And uh, let me know what you guys thought of Nobody, if you guys have seen it. Really recommend it. I, I think this might be my favorite film of the year so far.